Hello and welcome to another DCD Transporters video on a conversion that we've just done. So we just want to give you a quick tour through this lovely little T5.1 and what we've been up to with it. Oh, I do have a soft spot for a 5.1. This is a really nice example in reflex silver with the Sportline lower bumper, um, that little split a bit on the, on the very bottom and yeah, the, the honeycomb grill in there and some nice little blue accents on the gloss black grill. So yeah, I just think they look really nice. So this is a tin top model. So no pop top on this one. And uh, let's bring the camera around and I'll show you what we've done on the inside. Oh yeah, what about that then? So it's our U-shaped setup. This is Mousson Valeur, which is quite a nice light blue with the birch ply, which we leave exposed on the edges. For that really nice contemporary look. It's a proper lovely piece of wood. So really, really high quality. And we've got our U-shaped lounge, as you can see. So, and these are Mediterranean blue cushions. Now, the camera doesn't show it quite as blue as what they are, but they are really lovely blue with a nice bit of fleck in them. It's got our ship deck floor in, as you can see down here. The customer's got an Alpicool uh, portable fridge so they can put it in the awning. So we've just left the, the gap there. Underneath the cabinet, I don't know if you can just about see in there, there is a 12 volt socket and USBs uh, specifically for the fridge connection. And then the other side of the cabinet, they just wanted left so they could have some storage crates in there. So that works really well with that. Two drawers at the top there, full and drawers. So you've got lots of lovely deep storage in there. Both of those. So that's really nice. Lots and lots, of, lots and lots of space. Storage underneath the driver side pod, which has got two separate compartments. So you can have, like I said, the mucky side towards the back of the van and then a clean side for all your bedding. We've got 240 in this one, really nice generously sized cabinet at the top there and our lovely oak roof. So this is oak up on the top there. Really, really nice. Dimmable LED lights, because obviously you don't want them that bright all the time. So yeah, really lovely. Let's have a look through the back. So if we go around towards the back of the van, We'll get what we were talking about earlier. So let's have a look in here. So we've got a big pull out drawer. It's on the lock. I reckon I could almost fit in that. That's massive. That's going to be great for storing loads of really, really big, bulky stuff. All your chairs, your awning canopy. Oh, absolutely everything is going to fit in that. That is a superb space. So yeah, lovely, big, deep drawer in there. And then you open the, the other barn door. I like the barn doors. I know obviously we always go on about tailgates and this, that and the other, but the barn doors are really practical and you don't need to worry about how closely you've parked to something, you know, in order to then open the tailgate. Another 240 socket on the back here. The customer wanted that there so they could run the lead out of the doors and then into the awning. So that's going to be a nice little point to get your 240 outside. And then we've got our body box in here, which is nice and easy to uh, slide out. And it's got a lovely big bit of storage in there. Let me pop the camera down and we'll get the buddy box out so you can see that as well. So you can remove the buddy box out of the van and it still functions as the U shape, as the two side pods. Really, really practical. You can obviously move this cushion if you want to. You see that can then go on your buddy box and you've got a lovely little stool for being outside. And then of course, your furniture can then go into your two side pods. Once this flap has obviously been pushed back underneath the cushion again. And uh, yeah, you've then uh, got a lovely walkthrough area from the back of the van into the inside. Yeah, so there we go. There's the buddy box out of the way and your lovely walk through area. That's just super nice, isn't it? You know, you just be able to get from the back of the van 
into the van, still got full use of sitting, dining, relaxing. And like I said, the little buddy box sat outside with your cushion in your awning. So that's like really nice and practical as well with all your stuff stored in there. These little buddy boxes are great. Be amazed at the amount of storage you can get in them. That is just a cavernous little cube that you're gonna get loads and loads of stuff in. And um, yeah, just really, really nice. Hides in the van, obviously completely removable. What a great bit of kit that is. So this is the short wheelbase version. And as you can see, it still gives plenty of room for sitting and dining in and relaxing. So yeah, absolutely superb bit of space in there. And with the 360 table, you can sit around it um, so comfortably, really, really nice. Yeah, so looking at the setup from in front, you can see there, like I said, this is a short wheelbase version and still gives you loads and loads of room, like really comfortable seating area, really nice dining. And what I'm going to do now is just pop the table out of the way and we'll put it into its bed setup and you can see the nice big bed as well. Oh, look at that bed, isn't that fantastic? What a great space. I still think it's going to be one of the biggest setups that you're going to get with the bed, you know, so that extra piece at the top corner is not to be sniffed at. So it's about the same size as what you'd get on a normal three quarter rock and roll bed, plus that extra piece. Not only does that enable you to sit nicely and dine together when it's in its normal seating configuration, it's also going to get you a lot more shoulder room when it's converted into a bed. And that is not to be underestimated. You can still obviously get the cabinet. You know, you've got lots of storage in that as well. So you've got nothing lost over there. Lots and lots of storage underneath the bed. Lots and lots of storage in that cabinet. But a really cozy, comfy night's sleep. And then underneath the pod on the passenger side, as you can see, the little pull-out drawer there, that is for your porta potty So if you want to put a porta potty in there, you can. And the best thing about our drawer runners for these is they are weight bearing. So you can get up to 140 kilos on that. So you don't need to keep moving that porta potty around. You can keep it in position. You don't have to be bending um, and, and hurting your back to try and lift it in and out of the van. So once it's in position, it's there, then obviously, every few days, if you have been using it, also you do want to empty that, but nice and easy to get into. No, you know, heavy lifting to get it up and out, just sits in that little tray there, absolutely perfect. So great little hidey spot for that. So there you go, what a color combo, really like this one, that Mediterranean blue cushion cover with that mousse en velour laminate, it's really nice. And so we've got our ship deck floor in on there as well. That's looking lovely, isn't it? Really like that. And the oak on the roof. Yeah, really lovely. Those LEDs really shining bright. I would dim them down, but as you know, they'll flicker on the uh, video, so I won't bother doing that. But they are dimmable, and the switch is just nicely located, as you can see, on the C-pillar. So really nice, super convenient as you come in. And then on the back wall there, you've got more. 240 sockets, USBs, 12 volt USBs, and another 12 volt socket, and your night heater controller. So, yeah. What a great little setup that is. So, thanks very much for joining me on this quick little tour around video. What a great little van. Lovely little day van, lovely little camper, chuck an awning on the side of it, and what a super space. The color combo. Oh, fantastic as well. Love that oak roof that you can see above me. The oak ship deck floor in. Oh, it's fantastic. Oak worktops. Oh, loving it. Yeah. And that color, the mousse en velour. I think what a lovely blue that is. That coupled with our Mediterranean cushions really does set it off. So what a combination this is. Please do give us a subscribe and obviously thumbs up if you've liked the video and you want to see some more content, hit that bell button and then obviously you'll be sent notifications when we upload some more. So thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.